Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're continuing the location tracker series by looking at the nut tag find 3. The nut find 3 is the device that I've actually been using for several years. And while there's been some hiccups, it's generally been excellent. I will admit when I started this review, the battery in the tag on my work keys had gone flat. And not just recently. It had gone flat 390 days ago. Which, to be fair, was probably right in the middle of one of the lockdowns. And I wasn't going anywhere, I didn't need my work keys, so it was never a priority. Now, it's done, and it took all of about two minutes. The Nutfind 3 is most akin to last week's my tag. Both are Australian, and both have a very similar form factor. The software, like the MyTag software, was fairly flaky in the start, but now has matured nicely. As far as the hardware goes, the NutTag is super light, at just 9.5 grams. Although the website claims 2 grams, but maybe that's without the battery. It does feel a little flimsy, but the fact that I've had mine for more than 5 years of mostly constant use and never destroyed them, means they're tougher than you think. My only dislike of these devices is the attachment method. They have this tiny little piece of nylon rope that you're supposed to slot through a gap on the edge of the tag and loop back through itself, which I'm not going to try and do on camera without my glasses. The loop is not as strong as the tag, although I reckon it probably lasted about three years. After a while, the outer braiding came off and the thin fishing line-like stuff on the inside held together, but eventually even that gave way. At the moment, the one on my car key is held on with some really strong double-sided tape, and the one on my work keys is actually blue tacked to the alarm fob. When I opened them up just recently to change the battery, I actually had a look to see if there was a way you could drill a hole through the casing to install a split ring or something similar. But unfortunately, the circuit board seems to go right to the edge, so it would be pretty dangerous. Recently, they've launched a new product, the Nut Focus, which has a metal frame and hole, and also a two-year warranty. On the software side, the reverse find works really well. And before I bought my Apple Watch, it was my go-to method of finding my phone. The separation alert I have set for 200 meters around home, and it reliably goes off as I go around a particular corner away from home, out on a run or a walk. I have silent zones set up at both home and work to stop the problem of borrowed keys and the fact that I leave my car keys in my bag when I'm wandering out and around the school most days. As I said, I've been using these for years and I'm really quite happy with them. The only downside, as far as I'm concerned, is the attachment method. So if you're getting a nut tag, I'd suggest go the newer focus. While I have your attention, I'd love your help. I love making these videos. But, to be honest, they're a lot of work. I've paid for each of these tags out of my own pocket. While I do, very occasionally, earn a little bit of income from affiliate links, it in no way comes close to making up for the time and money that I've invested in this channel. There's a link up here and in the comments down below to our support page, where you can find a bunch of ways that you can say thank you and support the channel, and not all of them cost money. I'd love your help. Question of the day, do you lose stuff? Would you look at buying something like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to our channel by clicking down here and our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.